Oh, this is gonna be fun. Watkins Glen. Yes. Road course racing. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the Watkins Glen International for the 19th race of the SCRL Classic Truck Series. The number 14 of Nick Selman will be leading us to the green flag. Starting beside him will be Kako White Lion, the points leader. Here are the rest of the starting grid. 34 trucks. We just need two more trucks. We got a full field. Damn, we're so close. After an exciting and eventful race at Pocono, what will Watkins Glen have in store for us? We shall see. Here is the command. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. Originally, this track, this race was going to be held at the original Watkins Glen that came with this game, but I decided, nope, we need to change it up a little bit. We are going with the current Watkins Glen track. So a little mix of past and present. Pace truck is in. We are racing at Watkins Glen. Green flag. There goes the truck. Starting to spread out. And we already got a spin. The 50 and the 2. Yep. That's not good for White Lion. And we got a truck in the wall. That's need a HBK. Actually, not wall, guardrail. Guard wall. Whoa, what the hell? Some trucks just went through the uh, grass. Yeah. Solomon leads them down to the back stretch and on to the yeah, bus stop chicane. And whoa, we already got a truck sliding off. Trucks go through the grass. And caution is out. And we got, yeah, wreck fest. A whole big wreck fest. The 30, the 27, the 1, the 6, the 55, the 58. Whoa, what the hell? Where the hell is he at? What the fuck? Oh, every Pedro just wrecked. A lot of trucks are already out of the race, more than likely. And Ding Drinker is wrecked. And they keep on wrecking. Yeah, that's typical walk against Glenn. Nick Soman is your race leader, we'll take a look. Okay, the original cause of the caution was Bulldog 67. He slid off the track. Going, uh, 60 miles an hour. Wham! Hard impact. And he gets stuck on top of the tire barriers. But then we got more trucks. The 1, the 6, the 62, the 15. The 58, the 27, the 55. I want to see what happened to Avery Pedro, though. Okay, let me see what... Zachary Fitzwater is off the track for some reason. Let's see. Every Pedro and Ding Drinker going at it. Pedro gets hit by Ding Drinker. Oh, damn. They go sliding off the track. And Pedro decides to cut through the grass and goes underground. All right, then. And that's the cause of the first caution. Very bizarre. We'll take you back now. And we are back. Only 27 trucks are left. Yeah. Dang Drinker is still trying to catch up. Ben Gerhard's got a lot of damage. Draco's got a lot of damage. Yeah, Watkins Glen, that, this is the track that could change things around. Nick Solman is the race leader. He is second in points. Who's the 
Kaka Whiteline, he, she is race le uh, championship leader, but she's all the way back in 21st. So this could be the game changer. But, oh, we already got a wreck. Solman leads him to turn one. Oh, he goes wide, but he keeps going. Caution is out once again. Looks like Daryl Emma got spun out. We will race it back. Of course. Saltman leads him down the back stretch. This is the trouble area once again. Oh boy. And Whoa! 25 just jumped the turn. Looks like no one spun off the track. That's good. Solomon will lead him through turns 10 and 11, I believe. And he will beat him back to the caution. And yeah. We'll take a look. Okay, let's see what happened. Daryl Emma, we just took on the green flag. Huh, the 20 and the 50. Oh, they got together. And the 50 hits Daryl Emma, and he spins out. Actually, they both do. A three-truck spin on the front stretch. They both get some damage, but not a lot. And that's the cause of the second caution. Nothing too serious. So, yeah. We'll take you back now. And we are back. No one else is out of the race, of course. If we get another caution... I... I don't know if we'll have another restart or not. Mm, probably not. I'm gonna say no. Nick Solman came in here second in points. His championship rival, Kakawat Line, is in last. Well, on the track. Pace truck is in. We're back to racing. Green flag. They got to go now. The 17 is going. Jay Purcell's up to 48. Whoa. Summon goes wide. Not good. Not good. Not good. No. Okay. They made it through. Up the track. Heading toward this trouble area, the bus stop chicane. This can make or break you. The leaders make it through. DJ Harris has moved up to second. Solomon leading him into the final turn. Looks like we'll complete our first lap under... Oh, Solomon's in the wall. Nope, the caution's out. They're racing it back. And DJ Harris took the lead. Oh, my God. Solomon made one mistake, and it cost him. Wow. Oh, my God. Yep, that ended the race, unfortunately. Well, let's go back and take a look and see what brought out the caution as well as Selman's, well, fatal mistake. The cause of the caution shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Jesse Turner goes off track. Spins out. So does the 61 of Damon Fenton. Heavy impact. And then the 20... And the two and the one get together. Daryl Emma and Ben Gerhardt. Heavy impact. What happened there? 
Daryl Allen comes back across the track in front of Ben Gerhardt. And just destroys both trucks hard. Their days are done. Nick Solman. He made one mistake. He overshot the final turn. Scrapes the wall. That allows DJ Harris to go by. Jay Purcells. And Solman will realistically finish third. All because of one little mistake. It has to be very disappointing for him. Well, we'll take you to the finish now. Here are your race results. DJ Harris scores the win. Second is Jay Purcells. Third is Nick Solman. Fourth is is Umbre, 5th is Sebastian Torres, 6th is Brian Fox, 7th is News Nearly, 8th is Daniel Boyes, 9th is Big Jake, and 10th is Ty Dent. Only 14 drivers finished the race on the lead lap, 23 finished overall, a lot of them were lapped down, a lot of people were out because of wrecks, because Watkins Glen is a wreck fest of a race. So, yeah. And now we will take you to Victory Lane with DJ Harris. <laughs> 